living our soul's purpose. And so tonight I want to kind of unlock this and explore this and help you kind of ground into a kind of new sense of self, a new awareness of yourself, but also teaching you some self mastery tools so that you can kind of master yourself because the more that we master our own internal self, our mindset, the way that we feel, the more we're able to master our lives. And at the end of the day, what we're really wanting to achieve is for our sole purpose to not to birth through us, to incarnate through us, and then for our true energy to be able to impact reality around us. So my name is Vani Silverton. I'm an energy healer. I'm a Thady healer. I do a lot of women's work. I've written a book, Sacred Revolution, A Woman's Path to Love, Power, and Sensual Enlightenment. Read it if you haven't. Um, and I just love the human body. I love the human journey. And I think, yeah, I think it's great to be able to, 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 to up-level everyone. One of, one of my greatest joys is to be able to up-level you. Right, sole purpose life alignment, living your life in on purpose and in alignment. So let me begin, right? Let me begin with the story, why this has all come about, why we're doing this on Zoom, why this is an important topic. So we all know that we are here to live our sole purpose, right? That's the aim of the game. The aim of the game is that we learn to contact our amazing essence and our amazing energy, that we learn to let that energy within us um, shine through our being and impact the molecules of reality so that we can shift and change reality, not only to align to our magnificence, but also to shift, change and upgrade reality around us. Because as you shift and evolve, you also help everything else shift and evolve as well. And so our beautiful soul has amazing purpose. Not only do you have purpose to heal and shift your genetic information, not only do you have purpose to upgrade your relationships, but you actually have a soul purpose, a life purpose, where you have decided to come to this world, to this time zone, to actually impact reality with a very particular vibration. And that particular vibration has, your vibration has an essence, has an energy to it, has, is a unique energy signature in the universe. And for whatever great reason, you've decided to come here in this time zone to impact reality around you, okay? And so the aim of the game is that we get really in touch with that amazing soul essence of ours and we learn to live it. We learn to hear it. We learn to feel it. We learn to be moved by it. We learn to be, to, 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 to let it navigate us through life. We learn to contact the energy inside of us with so much depth and clarity that it becomes our intuition. It becomes a guiding force inside of us. It comes, becomes our inspiration and it becomes our creativity as well so that we can create amazing things. And that gorgeous force that is your soul must be must be felt, it must be recovered, it must come alive. Because until you do, you, you will never ever feel fully satisfied in life. You can have all the money in the world, you can have the most amazing partner in the world, you can have so many extraordinary things in the world, but if you don't have your soul calling you, if you don't feel like you're living on purpose, right? Living on purpose, living with purpose, living because of your soul purpose, you'll never feel fully happy. And so one of the things that I absolutely know is that the greatest achievement that you will ever make in your life is to step into your soul purpose. And, you know, I, I really understood, I, I read somewhere that there are three most important days in your life. The first is the day that you're born. The second is the day that you discover your soul purpose. And the third is the day that you start living your soul purpose, right? So, some of us already know what our soul purpose is, but we've got a lot of other clutter on top of us, which kind of stops us from really being in our soul purpose, right? We might have a lot of poverty consciousness from our ancestors that kind of hold us back. We might have a lot of shame and unworthiness that kind of holds us down and twists us up. Um, we might have a lot of self-doubt or confusion or just not feeling good enough. And so that light, that purpose that might ring really strongly inside of you doesn't quite come out to impact reality because it's clogged up with so much other stuff. And so we kind of have to go on a journey to unravel all of that stuff so that we can really be aligned to our magnificent uh, soul purpose and start to live it. And so the reason why, getting back to the story, <laughs> the reason why I decided like we've got to do a Zoom, we've got to be a little bit more focused on this, right, is because I know 
that a lot of us are wanting to start to really move into our soul purpose, to really find it, to understand it, and to start living it. And so to be honest with me and my soul purpose, I've kind of always waited for the universe to move me, right? I've been quite fortunate in, in a respect that my divine timings, so and, and in Theta Healing, we refer to divine timings as these points in your life, in your timeline, where you've made a promise to do certain things, right? Where you've made a promise before you even came to this world that you will do certain things. And, uh, and that divine timing is for you to uplift other people and to help shift the world and your soul and the universe and the divine creation has already decided that before you've come, right? And so I've been very fortunate that on my timeline, I've had very strong divine timings that have happened to me, right? Very strong divine timings. So, you know, I had a divine timing that moved me from Australia to um, UK. I had a very strong divine timing that moved me onto my healing path. I had a very strong divine timing that moved me to go and start teaching this work professionally at Illuminations in uh, Dubai and with Bergeon here in the UK. I had a very strong divine timing that created my daughter, right? So I've been quite fortunate with all these divine timings that have really reorganized my life made me start to live in a whole new way and 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 life shifted right and which is great which is so great but then right what's been happening in the last six months is i've been like come on where's my next divine timing i want my next divine timing where is it i need it i need to get my next divine timing where is it i'm waiting for it tuning into it when's it going to come well, i'm feeling it and then it was only about two weeks ago that vumpa I got the message is that I have to call upon my next divine timing, that I have to create my next divine timing, that I have to make my next divine timing happen, right? And I was like, isn't this just supposed to happen, right? Isn't, aren't I just supposed to get on track with my life purpose and my soul purpose, you know? And yeah, I am living my soul purpose, but I'm ready to go to another level, right? And so the universe replied back to me is like, no, my love, <laughs> you need to get super clear about who you are. You've got to go deep, deep, deep within yourself, shift all the next layer of stuff, which is blocking you so that you can come into your divine timing. This next divine timing is not going to happen. The universe isn't going to make it happen like that. It's not going to be a chance meeting where you synchronize to someone else and the divine timing happens. This is not going to be an event that takes place for the divine timing to happen. This is a divine timing that will happen when you focus on yourself and you shift yourself and you will your divine timing to come into action so that you can go to the next level and do the next thing, right? And you know, I'm really good at listening, right? I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do what I need to do. And so over the next month, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to will my divine timing to kind of call me, to call me and realign back to me. And so what I understand about this process, and I think what we will do um, is we will, uh, I might, move you through with like an energy clearing talking activation process so that you can kind of like um come along with me as I'm explaining this process to you if that makes sense so instead of like going in and doing like a full-on energy clearing activation alignment da, 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 I'm going to talk and align you talk and align you talk and align you so you guys with me with this does that make sense can you guys hear me see me all of this stuff. All right, okay. Charlotte's saying she believes everything is in divine timing. Totally agree, Charlotte, totally agree. So yes, okay, everyone's loving it. Let's do it, I can hear you, yes, 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 yes. We can hear you, see you, yes, I'm so open. Amazing, cool. Yay, yay. Uh, Cristiano's totally lost. <laughs> I think that's my friend Amanda from uh, from from my school. Hello, Amanda. All right, okay, all right, gang. Let's do this. So, <laughs> like I said, we are all here to start living our soul purpose, right? And so, the first alignment I want you to move into is just to feel all the cells in your body lighting up with your light. And I want you to just let 
all the cells in your body just light up with your own soul light. Just like pop, 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 pop. And I just want to recognize, rec help you to recognize what it feels like just to be you. So I just want you to just feel in and just see if you can tune into your unique energy signature, your unique soul purpose. All right, now you might feel your unique energy signature is something bright, you might not feel it at all, it might feel really hidden, it might feel really lost. Some of us feel our unique energy outside of our body and not inside our body. But the aim of the game is to let our energy come into your body, right? That's the aim of the game. So if you're feeling your soul energy outside of your body and inside of your body, I kind of invite you just to like let those two, the external and internal force of yourself, knit and join together so they become one energy. And so you've actually chosen to be here living in your gorgeous body in this time zone. And I just want you to have a moment of gratitude. Like, hello, I'm here. I exist. This is amazing. And I also want you to have a little moment of feeling proud of yourself, of also all the stuff that you've managed to, to move through and work through and be like, hey, yeah, I managed to do this and I managed to shift that. And I managed to kind of do all these other amazing things in my life. I managed to, um, you know, leave a partner. I managed to get out of my family. I, I managed to do all this amazing stuff. And I just want you to feel proud of all the decisions that you've made to get yourself here. And so on this human journey, as our soul starts to incarnate into our body, we also um, have to go on a process of self-healing, right? And so all of us are born into a human body. Our gorgeous soul is born into a human body. And our genetics have got some very interesting things that are going on inside of them. So some of us are born into human bodies with poverty consciousness. Some of us are born into human bodies with broken love. Some of us are born into human bodies where there's lots of abuse. Some of us are born into human bodies that have got depression. And so we've got a collection of so many stories inside our human body that can often create the, the feeling that our soul is limited or our life is limited or that we can't have certain things when we know that we're destined to have them. And that is because of all the information, the limited information that creates limited belief systems that stops the body from actually and the soul from actually being free to exist in this world. So we all go on a process of self-healing. We have to, you know, self-healing is one of the most important gifts, the important steps that we take in our human evolution. It's only when we choose self-healing that we go, oh my goodness, I'm responsible for me. I can no longer blame my mother. I can no longer blame my father. I can no longer blame anything. I am now responsible for my life right now. It's up to me now. I'm the only one that can make things shift, change and make things happen. And so I want you to just feel into the moment in your life. You might have been, I think I was about 23 and then another time when I was 27 when this happened. Go to the moment in your life, in your timeline where you made that choice. You made the choice. I am now responsible for my life. I'm responsible and I'm the only one that can heal myself. I'm responsible and I'm the only one that can get me out of this mess now. I'm responsible and I'm the only one that is able to truly support myself and love myself more than anybody else can, okay? When was that in your timeline? Write it into the chat. Let's be interactive here. When was that in your timeline? Like I said, I think I had one at 23, another one at 27. Actually, I also had one at 16, although it was more like, um, being like, oh my God, I can't live in my family anymore. I need to move home. <laughs> I need to move home. Right. We've got here people. Uh, Ivan, 2016 spring. Amazing. So that's very specific springtime. Carly's saying this is powerful. Yeah. Um, Roslyn saying the divine radiates within and around us. Totally. Diana, 25. Sylvia, 19 or 20. 26, 35. When I was 19, the last two years for Nicola, 18 when I left uh, home to come to Australia, 17 and this year at 26, four years ago and two weeks ago, amazing. Yeah, and we make this choice often, like I know I've had to make this choice again in the last two weeks, like come on now, 
be responsible be responsible again recreate step back into your power sandra 43 17 18 27 for jeanette uh, I was 21 looking at myself in the mirror and seeing lots and lots of acne on my face. Celine, yeah, beautiful one to step into. Um, three and a half, three and a half years old. Awesome. How conscious were you as a soul, Jesse? Eight and eight. Wow, that's really conscious. Uh, 15 and 41, 20 and 27. We've got 13 amazing people. I can see you all here. At 26, when I decide to leave my current work and start uh, uh, Eni together, my sister, gorgeous, 2016 when I began my 30 healing journey, this year at 37, 50, six years ago, 49, amazing, uh, Annika, over and over again, okay, all right, amazing, uh, Liz is saying possibly only this year when both my parents died, yeah, when you don't have the parents to be responsible for you anymore, okay, amazing, all right, gang, Okay. All right. So you get that. There was this point in your life where you realized that you were responsible. Penny saying 30, divorce my ex-husband from an abusive marriage. Amazing. And it's and sometimes it's not easy. It's not easy to do that. It's really sometimes not easy uh, to make that choice that I'm responsible and I'm the only one that can make changes and shifts uh, in my life. But you made that choice you made that choice point and that that's when you decided to self-heal that's when you decided to learn mindset techniques that's when you decided to let go of things in your life that's when you decided to look at your life and go this is not in alignment and this is this isn't this is this isn't this is and you recreated your life and that's super power that's power that's so much power and so I want you to just go back in your timeline and just give that part of you that made that choice to, to hug you, just hug that part of you that made that choice and just be like, you amazing, amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank God you made that choice. Better late than never, but thank God you made that choice. And just feel really proud because that moment, that moment of making that choice is when you chose, I can self heal. I can heal my life and I can heal who I am. Okay. Now, the next amazing thing that happens, right? the next amazing things that happens is that you then on that journey of self-healing, you get rid of all the crap that isn't you, right? Is that you move into the next phase, which is self-discovery. And self-discovery is, is your ability to go, oh, this is who I am. This is my truth. This is what I want. This is what I need. This is what I can do. These are my gifts. These are my talents. This is what I can do to apply in my life. This is what lights me up. This is what not doesn't light me up. And so that process of self-healing has really moved you into actually self-discovering yourself. So you think you may have been on this big healing journey, and of course you have, but ultimately what that has done is, is allowed you to self-discover who you are, discovery, like this is who I am. And that is a powerful, powerful moment. That's the next powerful moment, you know? This is who I am. I know who I am. And remember on Delphi, the oracles, you remember the oracles in ancient Greece on the Delphi oracle thing, it says, know thyself. And why would an oracle need to know thyself? So that she knows exactly what information she's picking up. So she knows exactly the truth of the universe. So she knows exactly what is right and what is wrong. Because once you know thyself, you know thyself so much, you know the universe. You know who you are in the universe and you know what you are not. And so it's a very big, powerful moment of self-discovery. So I want you to write into the chat, give me three or four words to describe who you are. I want you to notice that self-discovery. Like I am, I know I am a transformer. I'm a healer. I'm a lover. I am, uh, I'm, I'm graceful. I'm getting, I'm graceful as well. So maybe you can just let your soul let you know what that is. Like don't even tune in. Don't even let your brain tell you what, what you, who you are. I want you to let your soul tell you who you are, you know, and I want you to write that into the chat. I want you to write that into the chat. Okay. So, uh, even saying actually today, not too, I did not know about masterclass, but I decided this. Uh, welcome, 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 even. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Where are we? Okay. Michelle's crying. Thank you. Well, hopefully, Michelle, it's because you're coming back to your truth, right? So Eni's saying, wild, compassionate love. Uh, test user. I don't know who that is. Healer, creator, witty. Celine, presence, play, I'm choice. Bex is creator, artist, mother. Rosalind, connector, 
uh, love empowering Ali is smart intuitive altruist alt, alt, I can't say the word altruist uh, Evan a healer coach motivated love Alison a healer teacher nurturer I am soul Aline I'm a healer and intuitive healer wild creative and passionate love mood healer teacher I'm just going to read it out I can't read up everyone's names healer curious teacher compassionate funny healer contortionist Contor contortionist wow a contortionist um creation and love celine light powerful resilient i transform kind maternal teacher beautiful spiritual adept healer artist joy pure reliable coy perseverance creator wow this is gorgeous people empathetic healer shapeshifter healer joy understanding warm beautiful sunlight intuitive i am love i'm healer strong sensitive kind healer woman love compassionate creative listener advisor you're graceful i'm gentle loving but powerful when inspired i'm transformational healing and possibly and possibility to heal gorgeous love it love it warm kind fighter delicate traveler blessed compassionate i'm loving all of this beautiful people gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and so just get in touch with those words you put down because it's a frequency. What you're doing, those words are actually locking you into a frequency, locking into your frequency, your unique energy system. Now, feel into that. I want you to feel those words you've written down and feel that as you. And I want you to become that. I want you to claim that. This is who I am. I'm going to claim this as me. Now, claiming is really, really important. Okay, you need to claim who you are. If you don't claim who you are, you're never going to be able to impact reality. You'll always be washing and wishing and self doubting. Am I this? Am I that? Am I go? You need to claim yourself. So I want you to, with those three words, access your soul. This is who I am. And I want you to claim this is who I am. This is who I am. Beautiful. This is who I am. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Good. This is who I am. I claim who I am. And in that moment of claiming, what happens is you accept yourself. I accept who I am. So I want you to claim and accept all of who you are. This is who I am. I claim myself. I accept myself. This is who I am. And this is a very beautiful moment. The more you accept yourself, the more you're going to discover yourself, the more you're going to claim yourself, the more you'll accept yourself, the more that you'll love yourself, the more that you'll discover yourself. And it's this beautiful process of you deepening your connection to yourself, of you allowing the truth of who you are to exist more and more and more and more and more. So I invite you to claim and accept and love yourself to the point where you begin to birth your soul, more of your soul into your body. So just spend a moment claiming and loving and accepting. And through that, you're welcoming more of your soul, your being, your essence into your body. And I'm just going to call more of your soul into your body right now. Just let it come in. Like I said, the more of you that exists, the more that you claim yourself, the more that you claim your energy field, the more that you claim your body, the more impact you're going to have in reality. So I really invite you to rebirth, birth yourself, birth yourself through self-acceptance, birth yourself through self-love, birth yourself, birth your soul. Beautiful. Okay. So you've gone on the journey. You've, you've decided to exist in this world. You decided to take responsibility. You moved into self-healing i will heal everything that's out of alignment and through that process you discover yourself you claim yourself this is who i am you birth yourself into existence right these are my gifts these are my talents this is who i am the next thing that's going to happen from self-discovery you've got no choice after this once you've discovered yourself you will then begin to move into co-creation Okay, then you'll move into co-creation, which is the ability for your divine soul and the divine universe to work together to start to create and manifest and impact reality. Once you discover who you are and who you are in this world, you will automatically want to create. You'll automatically want to rearrange physical reality to support you. You'll automatically want to manifest 
a life that reflects your brilliance back, right? This is what happens. And co-creation is can be a spectrum of things from your thoughts, you know, your thoughts uh, uplifting your partner to think in a different way. It could be a, a course or a book that you write to uplift humans in another way. It could be the fact that you work in a corporate environment and, you're, and you do something to change the structure or the system so that people can work in a better way. It could be charity, creation, co-creation happens in a spectrum of different ways. It could be having a child and you help grow that child up from the truth of your being, which allows that child to be super strong. That is all co-creation. And so to be able to impact reality with who you truly are, to be able to shine your essence, your soul from the depths of your being and, and let it move into every molecule of reality, for you to imprint every molecule of your reality with your soul essence, not only does it help upgrade your life, but like attracts like, right? Your vibration allows the universe, the molecules around you to shift, change and reconfigure. It also allows you to tune into a different frequency that reflects your brilliance back. So can I invite you to let your soul shine so much out of your body, so much out of your body, that it impacts every single molecule in your reality. Like just let it go in, your unique energy signature going into every molecule of reality and just infusing, imprinting it all with your inspiring strength, healer energy. Let it just infuse and impact. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, like I said, the more that you are out, the more of your energy that can shine through your body into your energy field, the more that you can impact reality. So I just want you to really be aware of all your energy shining out of your body and the entire universe realigning the entire universe all around you, reshaping, realigning to come into alignment with you. And this is how true mastery, true life mastery works, right? Is when you have mastered yourself through self-mastery, through self-healing, through self-discovery, all that stuff, right? But when you are able to move into the truth of who you are, that is a very important alignment and that truth is such a strong alignment that it shifts reality to align to you. So I want you to really be aware of this. Every time you come into alignment with your truth, every time that you are operating from your truth, the universe will realign to support that quicker, faster, and more effectively. So I want you to feel your energy shining out of your body. And I want you to let everything realign everything realign to support you. I want you to feel your relationships around you realigning to come into new alignment with you. I want you to feel your workplace realigning to come in alignment with your truth. I want you to feel your abundance and your creations realigning to come in alignment with your highest truth. I just would like you to notice everything in your life realigning and coming in alignment to your highest truth, your highest soul truth. And when that takes place, it's much easier for you to walk forward. It's much easier for you to laser a path forward. It's much easier for you to have clarity about things, you know, because you're not cluttered with all this other stuff. You're in alignment with your truth. You wait for life to realign to your truth. And that gives you an aligned action, an aligned movement of energy to start moving forward and walking forward in. So while we're here, gorgeous co-creator, conscious creator who is consciously weaving life, every breath and thought and emotion that you have, I would like you to feel into your soul, to feel into the truth of your being, knowing that you are a creator, knowing that you're a conscious creator, knowing that you're co-creating with the universe. And I want you to feel the most aligned action that you need to take right now in your life to make great change. 
What is the most aligned action you need to do right now to create great change in your life? And then you're going to witness yourself making that choice. And you're going to witness your life and you're going to witness yourself acting upon that choice. And then you're going to witness how you act upon that choice and how that starts to shift change and reconfigure your reality. So you're going to tune into the most aligned action. You're going to feel what that feels like. You're going to witness that action taking place. And you're going to witness how that action impacts your reality. And you know, we, we always do things first with our energy and then life around us catches up. You know, we always do things with our energy first. We might think, oh, look, wow, that's interesting. That just happened. Or, oh, wow, look, that, that's interesting. I always wanted that to happen. But really, the choice was always made from your energy first. So I want you to be aware of that, that the consciousness of, of being in alignment and the consciousness of making aligned action and the consciousness that, that aligned action, how that impacts and influences your reality. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I want you to write in the chat, write into the chat for me, what is your aligned action? What is the aligned action you need to take? And how, has, how does that aligned action, how is that already shifting your life? You know, because like I said, the, the action always, the, the energy comes first and it impacts reality even before we've made the physical action. But saying that, right, <laughs> saying that, you also, also, also need to make the physical action to bring, you know, the, the, the vibration or that new consciousness really into physical reality. So I don't want you to get away from the fact that you're just doing everything energetically. Of course, that's like 80%, but then we also have to make that physical action in, in, in everyday life. So let me know. I want to know what was your aligned action? How does that, has, how has that already affected your reality? Right, Celine, I need to write a post on social media and let it have a huge impact. I need to leave a woman's circle no longer aligned with me. I have more space, time, and energy to step into my next level. Gorgeous. Anna, I need to soothe and nurture my inner child. Beautiful. Ashley, memorizing a monologue. It's opening larger doors to roles larger than I previously had in mind. Perfect. Up leveling, upgrading. I love it. Katerina, time management, delegating. Gabriella, love and embrace my body and take care of it truly. Ivan, being completely independent financially and working on everything I was doing. Beautiful. And more of self-love, healing, and that is most, most important. Rosalind, focus on nutrition. Recently diagnosed uh, celiac, simplify my life, allow me to serve. Eva, I need to sort out getting a mortgage and security instead of renting. Good. Milda, to love myself. So much going on. Use my voice. I won't be able to read through them all. Uh, leave my workspace. But the fact that you've written it in is, is already making, making that movement. To be heard. Need to love myself and do more healing. Liz, clearing my space. Um, and the clutter that's filling my space. I will start your space clearing. Yeah, my space clearing online course is really good. Uh, Donna, take care of myself and it will come. Gorgeous. Reading all the Theta books. Anna, check in with myself during the day and take time to align myself. Gorgeous people. I'm loving this. I'm seeing it all. I'm witnessing all of what you're writing in. Penny needs to start believing in herself. Alicia's realizing my personal brand. Gorgeous. Amazing. Cool. Meditate regularly. So you know what to do, right? You know what to do. You know what to do. And the more clear and more conscious we get on what we need to do, the more impact we're gonna make because it's coming from the depths of our soul. And really what we're aiming for is our soul energy to feel so strong inside of us that it moves us into action, for our soul energy to be so strong that it just shines out of us to impact, impact reality. And, and we're like catching up to our soul on some level because our soul is lasering a very bright revolutionary path forward that we're catching up to our soul. That's an exciting life where you're running after your own soul destiny because it's moving you forward 
in unexpected and beautiful ways, you know? That's the feeling, that fiery feeling that we all long for. That's that feeling like, oh my God, I'm so alive. I'm so, it's, it's amazing to be here. That's the, 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 the energy we want to feel. Yeah, that's the energy we want to feel. All right. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. You guys rock. You totally rock. So, right. So I just want to just spend just a little moment. I just want you to just integrate all this information, integrate the little activations that you've had. I want you to integrate the alignments that you've had. And I just want you to take three really deep, beautiful breaths, breathing through all your cells, breathing and smiling because smiling is so good. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I just want you to just say a prayer. So sometimes, you know, we're not alone. And obviously part of our soul's journey is not only to master our soul, right? But to always have that connection to the divine universe, which is always guiding us and nurturing us and up-leveling us. So I invite you to say a prayer, a prayer to the universe, a prayer to your soul, Whatever that prayer is, that's true for you. Maybe it's an intention you set, you know, an intention through prayer. But I just want you to spend a moment making an intention or making a prayer to the universe and coming into alignment with that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And one last thing I want you to write into the chat. Um, an affirmation that your soul wants to send to you, like a line of words, like I am whatever. I am this, I am that, or great things happen when I relax, or it could be whatever. I want you to really tune into your soul now and let your soul send you an affirmation or a mantra or a sentence, or even a one word that you align to to go, right, I'm on track. What is that? Write it into the chat. Okay, so we've got, I'm lovable, I'm creating miracles. Michaela's wanting to wake up the sexual energy inside of her through yoga. <laughs> Amazing. I'm awesome. I'm always divinely guided and protected. I'm pure, radiantly happy. Gratitude. I'm lovable. My truth is love. I belong. I'm blessed. I am the sun shining. I'm ready to change my life. I'm divinely guided and blessed with love. I'm powerful. I'm sovereign. I am love and cosmically collect. I'm a master of my life. I am powerful. I'm love and abundance. I'm honor. I can heal cancer patients. Gorgeous. I'm ready for miracles in my life. I'm allowed to do it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Have a fun baby girl. I'm confident, empowered, and powerful creator. I'm perfect in this moment. Gorgeous. So I want you to feel I'm masterful. I'm ready to level up. I'm brave. I'm grateful. I'm consistent. I'm divine. I'm a shining star. Gorgeous. I want you to feel into that affirmation because words are powerful, people. Words are powerful. Words hold vibrations words hold consciousness when you when you put words together in a sentence it holds consciousness it, it it can gather a vibration of energy through you so i want you to just really tune into that sentence that affirmation that mantra and i want you to feel it own it let it radiate through you Beautiful, beautiful, and really feel it vibrating through all your cells, you know, even through your toes, feel that matcha, that affirmation vibrating through your little toe, you know, you are becoming it, that mantra is, you're becoming that mantra and that mantra is becoming you, and so it is, so it is, and so I invite you 
to maybe. You can either put that little mantra or affirmation on a screensaver. You can set an alarm and it can go off and it can remind you. You can stick it over your mirror, your fridge. But I just want you to really connect to that little affirmation that's come to you and on a daily basis, just align to it. Because it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking positive. No, this affirmation is an alignment, right? It's an alignment for you to like, oh, this is who I am and this is who I move forward as. This is who I, where I make, how I make my decisions, you know? So that's how this works. That's how this works. All righty. So continuing on. Um, Sal is saying, so grateful for you, Vanya. Love everything you do. Oh, so grateful you're enjoying everything I do. I am that I am, Catherine. Gorgeous. All right, again. So like I said to you, right, two weeks ago, the universe was like, you have to get yourself into your next divine alignment. You have to get yourself to your next level. And I was like, I don't know what my next level is. I don't even know what my soul purpose is anymore. Like, you know, you come to that point where you think you know who you are and then you realize you don't know who you are. And it's like, I've got to dig deep. I've got to go deep into my being and recover who I am again. And like, make it, make that part of me stand mm. strong and move forward. Like, that's where I'm at. Like, I haven't found that part of me. Like, it's there, it's coming. I can feel it. And I know that over the next month, I have to gather this part of me, pull it forward, ground it and, and up level myself, right? And so, because I hate doing things on my own, I'm gonna share with you, I've come up over the next four weeks. I would love you to come on a journey with me. I'm doing a four week journey into soul purpose and, and 28 days into life mastery. So I'm gonna share it with you and see if it resonates with you. And I'll put into the chat right now so that you've got the, the, the link as well. No, that's not even the link. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll find the, the link for you later on. I'm going to share it with you right now. And it's sole purpose. It's 28 days for life mastery. We're beginning on the 18th of November, okay, which is in two weeks. So it gives you time to kind of work yourself out. I've got some action steps you can do in the meantime. And this is an opportunity for you to get super clear about your soul's purpose and live a masterful, abundant and aligned life, okay? And it's over eight sessions where I get to help you get super clear about your true soul purpose and then show you the essential life mastery skills so that you can create love, wisdom and abundance from it, right? And you know, the aim of the game is for us to shift our consciousness to be able to know who we are and create abundance from it. And this is a potent container over eight weeks, over eight weeks, no, four weeks, eight sessions. It's a potent container where I get to rewire, reset and rebirth you. And at the same time, I'm going to go on that process with you because I know that there's some magic happening in the universe. I can feel it and I'm going to create the vortex. I'm going to jump into this vortex and we're going to make this happen. And this is a mastermind to fast track your destiny. So on day one, we're looking at your life purpose. We're learning the tools to align to the magic of it on a daily basis. We're going to help you to get clear on your message uh, so that you can get stronger uh, impact. And we're going to discover how you can expand your big picture vision of yourself so you can increase your capacity to receive more opportunities, which includes abundance. And there's lots of energy upgrades as well. On day seven, we're waking up your soul gifts. So I'm going to go deep into you, helping you to understand your gifts, your talents, your vibration, why you were born, who you were here. And we're going to rewrite your timeline so that you can create a new life for yourself. On day 14, we're going to unlock your limitations. Like these are all the glass ceilings. So many people come to glass ceilings. I can't do this. I'm overwhelmed. This is not for me. Other people get it. I haven't got enough money. I'm in lack. My partner doesn't want me to do it. Ugh. So... I want to unlock all of those limitations which really stop you from moving forward in your truth. Then we're going to, on day 21, we're going to move into wealth and abundance creation. So I'm going to give you a, a very precise eight-step system that's going to help you to create income from your life purpose and you discover how to ground your energy so that you can manifest into physical reality. And then on day 28, we're doing um, becoming a soul star. And I'm going to teach you how to create vortexes with your body so that you can call in and manifest great things in your life. We're going to look at how your divine timing and the earth's divine timing synchronizes. Um, and we're going to help you to align to 
being a conscious creator. And this program is all about you diving into you. Um, and our ultimate aim is to discover our soul's calling, ground it into a life purpose, and then discover how we can earn a living from it, okay? Um, and, and, you know, to live in alignment with your soul's destiny is the greatest achievement you will ever work. This is a group program. We're going to journey together as a group. We're going to basically, you're going to be receiving a live training every week and uh, for the first half, and then the second half of the week, you're going to get uh, energy clearing activation and get all your questions answered. So it'll be like a transmission of information that comes to you. And then you'll get to a few days to implement the work and then there'll be an energy clearing. So the transmission will happen on the Wednesday, the energy clearing will be on the Saturday. And then the next week will happen and uh, transmission and then energy clearing, transmission, energy clearing, transmission, energy clearing, until we create this extraordinary vortex of change in your life. You can save the dates there. Um, it's 250. That's all it is. 250 um, or two lots of 137. Um, and this, for me, people, I have been teaching and healing for over 20 years. 20 years? No, I'm not that old. 10 years. Um, and I have taught over, like, I think I've done over 10,000, 15,000 private healing sessions. I've taught 160 courses in six different countries. I teach 11 different levels of theta healing, I have so much wisdom about transformation to share with you. And this is the most effective and affordable way that I can shift, change and transform you um, and upgrade you um, as well. So uh, it's valued at 799, but 250 for this container or two lots of 137. Um, so I'll be sending you out all the details on that so that you can totally come and check it out but I would love to to see you there I'd love to take you on this journey you'll see lots of testimonials I'm legit people I'm legit <laughs> I'm legit so this is it this is the let me go to the back soul purpose 28 days to life mastery so how do I get back to zoom now stop sharing I'm oh, back to meeting bear with me Ah, now I can't get back to Zoom. Ah! <laughs> all right, I'm here. I'm back again. It's all okay. All right. So I'd love you to come on a journey with me. This is really beautiful, extraordinary.